going on guys welcome back to another video so here we are in duncan oklahoma we are picking up from the last video so we are delivering uh these engine blocks that we had so we arrived right now but unfortunately again since the, the last time that we came they were all in the meeting and the same thing today they're all in a meeting so what we're gonna do is they told us to just go to the building where we unloaded the last time back up into the doors wait there until 10 o'clock so with that being said guys let's go back into the doors all right guys don't mind my freaking windshield all right it's freaking dirty i know it's all happened last night should be right here this building we go on door 115 is the only one open so let's see here oh, gonna have to go in here it says do not enter but we're gonna enter Right there. Literally just a straight back as y'all can see right there. Just a straight back. Alright guys, so they finished already. It didn't take that long, honestly. It let me see what time is it. It's 10:35, so about about an hour or so. A little bit less. A few minutes less than an hour. Uh but they're all done. We're gonna go ahead and move over there so we can move our tandems and close our doors because my door does not close right there. So we move over there and then we are gonna head back to where we spend the night because we don't have any trip yet. So we're gonna go over there, probably get something to eat, and uh yeah, just wait till we get something else. So let's move over there so we can get out of here. Doors are closed. I'm just gonna move the tandems real quick to the front so that way. It'll be easier for us to get out of here. Oh man. There it goes, there it goes. Boom, there we go. Right, so we made it. We made it to this little gas station where we're gonna get some food. Go to the restroom because I need to go to the restroom freaking bad. But we got to hurry up because we came down 30 minutes from where we were at. But now we have to go up again to Oklahoma City. And from here, it's two hours away. We're going to pick up there. And uh, I'm trying to see how that, how that load is going to work because it does have two stops. But they both say drop and hook. So I don't see how I'm going to drop the first one but still have to take the trailer to the second stop. You know, so... I'm trying to figure out what the heck we're gonna do, but for now, guys. Oh man! For now, let's uh, let's go get some food, guys. We finally got our food. 24 minutes took to get my food. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So we got what we got here. We got some gravy right here. We got our omelet, some hash brown, and of course some toast. Woo! I'm gonna enjoy this food real quick, and then. Get up out of here, get on the road. Okay, so there is Walmart right there where I was gonna deliver this thing. Well, where I was technically supposed to deliver it, according to them. But I spent about 30 minutes in the line to check in. When I got there, I showed them the paperwork. They said that they have nothing on the paperwork is for them. So now, they had told me that it was a two-stop load which it does say right here, there's a first seal and a second seal. When I picked it up, I let them know that there was only one paperwork and the seal that it has on right now is the second seal, which is for the second stop. The second stop is in Temple, Texas. We're still in Oklahoma. So I kept telling them it has the wrong seal on, it has the wrong seal on. I don't see the first seal, the first seal is not here. 
So, I guess they got mad at me or something. So, all they said was, can you please take it to whatever this place is called, Paul's Valley or something like that. That's all they said. So, I didn't even answer them. I was like, you know what? All right, whatever. I'm trying to let them know, but they don't listen. So, I'm going to come over here, waste my time, like always. And, yeah. So, we came to check in. They told me they can't take me because all of this paperwork and the seal does not match for anything. Here's what they said. I said this, it's, it's right here. That's why I kept saying it already had the second seal on and there was no other seal anywhere on the trailer or with the paperwork. This was the paperwork that was in the trailer. So this trailer, I picked it up from a yard, from a drop yard, so another driver had dropped it off there. So I'm not sure whether the paperwork and the first seal got lost or maybe they already delivered it and they don't they don't know, they don't wanna check. I don't. I don't honestly I have no idea what's going on so I told them that again there is no point of me having a freaking manager because all they said was reaching out to the account manager now bruh like what's the point in having a freaking manager then and then I said do I head out or do I wait they don't tell me anything and then all they said was she said the that the bills have the pause valley stop y'all can see is right there so I said I'm not sure what y'all want me to do but there are no bills for Paul's Valley and the seal that the trailer has on is a temple seal I don't know what they want me to do I don't know what they don't understand that the paperwork only says Temple Texas and the seal that the trailer has on is for Temple Texas not for here so now I'm just sitting here on the side of the road on the exit, on the exit, on the entrance ramp and uh, waiting to see what's going to happen. All right, guys, 614 just hung up with the after hours manager, which was a lot more helpful than my actual manager. That's it. I'm done. I'm done trying to not. Like, I'm, I'm just trying to be nice about how she's doing her job because it is not, it is not good at all, man. It is not. This guy was actually a lot more helpful. It did take long, but we got it figured out. So I had to sit here for about four hours till finally the after hours people figured it out. And uh, they told me, yeah, just go ahead and uh, go drop it off at Temple. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As y'all can see, we got some food. Don't mind that, I didn't throw it away. But we got some food. Anyways, guys, we made it about 30, 30, 35 minutes away from where we're gonna unload this thing or just drop it off. Yeah, we're gonna drop this thing off tomorrow morning because I didn't have enough time since we did lose a lot of time over there. But we ended up making it to this QT. We've been here before, if y'all remember a couple of videos ago. Um, yeah, so we made it here. I didn't really find parking. I made some parking right next to these trucks with that one and this one right here. I mean, I'm not I'm not blocking anything. There's trucks have been going through right here perfectly fine. So we should be okay. But for now, guys, I'm going to call it a night here. We're here. We made it. So now let's uh let's power this thing. Just look at look at how beautiful this thing is, man. Oh my goodness. my luck so it happened again for some reason on their system it's saying that this load is delivered as well what the hell is going on they sent me over here to park give this number a call and uh see what the hell's going on with the load so yeah so they don't know what the hell is going on it says that it's delivered well first she said that i missed the appointment I was like, it's just a drop, like a drop and hook. I, I don't have to get unloaded. And then she checked it again. She's like, oh yeah, it's just, it says that it's been delivered since the 14th. Today is what the, today's the 16th. So, 
Yeah. I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, I'm with Morgan. Morgan? M A R T E N? Morgan. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm just dropping off. That's why I said I was like, wait, I, I can't just drop it off. Oh, man. That's all it was. She was like, oh, I wish I knew you were with Martin. You were just dropping off. Bitch, I told you that from the beginning. Oh, my God. All right, whatever. All right, guys. Well, we just, we just left, finally. Oh, man. Now we're on our way back up to uh, Dallas to get loaded. Even though we missed our appointment time, I mean, it's already 10.35, it was at 10. Uh, and I'm like two hours away. And now we're 45 minutes. So, yeah, we're gonna see what happens. I already let them know that they, they were gonna, they said they were gonna check, make sure I could get loaded and all that, but they haven't answered me. So, we'll see what happens, man. But, hey, that's trucking, all right? That's trucking. Oh, yo! So, as y'all can see, we are here to pick up. Well, I thought it was gonna be to get loaded. That's what it said on the, right here on the freaking Qualcomm or whatever this thing is called. And on the app on my phone, it said it was gonna be a live load. But I checked in and fortunately, they said it was gonna be a pickup. So they actually preloaded it at 10 in the morning. So it's been ready. Oh, hell yeah, man. Thank God, thank you Lord. We're gonna get home a little earlier than what I thought, so. Woo, yes. All right guys, we got our paperwork, we got the trailer, we got the seal. We got everything done. So, with that being said, finally, let's get on trucking and let's go home, man. No, not yet. Not home. We made it here to New Braunfels to drop this freaking trailer off. Man, we got stupid traffic. We were supposed to get here, I think, at like 4... 4... 4.30, I think. Something like that. And uh, it went all the way up to right now. We're going to drop this thing off somewhere right here. They said, uh... They said wherever. Wherever I find an empty spot. So... Ah, that's too tight. Oh, there's one right here. Right next to this one. Yeah, these spots are tiny. Holy crap. Alright, and... Uh, okay, my tires are just spinning now. Come on. Come on. My traction control acts stupid every time I freaking drop the every time I drop a trailer anyways guys um well that's it for today guys I think that's it for the video we are heading home now so we're gonna enjoy the weekend I think go to the beach for Father's Day and uh yeah just chill with the family so thank you so much for watching if y'all enjoyed please leave a like on this video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one